Alright, so what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing my second video on um, the best apps of the week. And I uh, really liked it last week. I asked you guys how you liked it. And you guys, for the most part, liked it. So, I'm just going to do it again. So this is going to be number two. A number two. And I'm going to probably keep doing these every week. So I have one app and one game every week. Um, every game videos and there's gonna be about five or six apps in each of them until I start getting more apps to review but um, as always make sure to check out the website because all the paid apps that I'm gonna be doing all of the reviews on them they will all be in um, the links will all be in my website so you can go and download them so make sure to uh, go and read the new post about this ROM and then go and download this I mean a new post about these apps and then you can go in download all these apps and the link will be embedded so just read the post and you will see it alright so let's begin first we have Windows Phone Clock so if you guys have ever um, seen the Windows phones uh, with the tiles and everything and all of the clocks that they have on there and stuff it's like really big letters and stuff so this is just a live wallpaper so um, when you um, open it up it'll just ask you to find the live wallpaper so Windows Phone live wallpaper it looks just like this it tells you the time right there in big letters tells you the date and just really big letters um, I mean big letters and then big numbers right here um, PM it tells you the battery percent what year what time and if your Wi-Fi is activated and I'll just click set as wallpaper and there we go so you know I'll scroll scroll through any screens uh, lock the phone doesn't matter it's always gonna be there so you know, it's basically a clock in your background, and it um it doesn't have any weather location or anything that um is not in this one. But this is just for people who don't have like an HTC Sense or don't like um want the HTC Sense clock for whatever reason, um or don't want like the stock clock that comes with their phone. This is a great app. It just puts a live wallpaper. It updates um the time and everything, and you can read it. It's nice and big, so you know. You'll one glance at it real quick, you'll be able to read it. And battery percent, that's a really great thing because some of us don't have battery percent in our um, batteries. So that's Windows Phone 7, uh, not too, Windows um, Phone Clock. Not too much to go into it, just a uh, live wallpaper. Alright, so now we'll go to Beautiful Widget. And um, this is just a bunch of widgets, so that was the app that came with it. And now I'm going to go over to my widgets. And here we go, starting with um, beautiful home uh, weather. We got another smaller weather one. Got a uh, super clock, another um, beautiful widget clock, another clock. So beautiful widget is crazy. It's like one of the most paid games in the um, uh, market as of right now. So, and you know, if you go to my website, you can go and download it, of course, for free. So that's where I got it from. But here's the one that's kind of copying the HTC Sense clock. This one's okay. It um it does an okay job and it does it doesn't do like an awful job. I use this one, but the beautiful right right here, and then I'll just drop it on my home screen right. And I've already gone into all the settings and edited what I wanted to, and you can actually change the appearance appearance of it. So you see a beautiful widget right here. You click on it, and you can go to super clock settings and um, change the clock settings, the weather, the appearance, which you know appearance. It'll give you like uh, battery skins, weather skins which is kinda cool because you can go and download skins um, I gotta connect to the internet but you can go and download skins and I already have the skin uh, downloaded and I can apply it right so that's the uh, standard skin but that's how it's gonna look standard and that's just one of them but I sometimes also use the one that I have right here which I like this one a little bit better because this one kind of I don't know I don't really like the uh, white on the number so that's also another widget that comes with it. Uh, so you can just remove it, and I can go back and see some more widgets. Um, got this one, got this one, this one, this one. So you have a bunch of them. And this is the one that I have on in the other screen. And right when I put that down, I can actually set the location and uh, geolocation it for you. So I click that. You can switch between Google or AccuWeather to, for what you want to update the weather with. 
and you can update intervals, refresh on wake, Celsius, time, all this stuff. It's just a bunch of stuff that you can edit and like again you can change the clock skin so you can see a standard skin right here and um, if you're connected to the internet you can go and download from a bunch of skins. There's so many skins to download from so you can just make it look a little bit different. And you got clock fonts, text colors, uh, center weather icon and I can do that um, background transparency transparency and I can save and apply and there it is so it's there once I click on this right here it um it this one takes me to calendar and if I click right like actually on the uh, thing I can actually see that it's updating weather and stuff so very nice so those are two clocks that you can actually choose from um, I like the uh, beautiful widget a little bit better just because it has so much stuff that you can do so you don't have to make it like look just like this certain um, way but you can actually change it to how you like it which is a really cool feature alright so now we're gonna go on to Pixay Pro and I already have this picture open of the Evo and I'm just gonna do a little bit of editing on it, editing on it. so uh, yeah you can zoom in and zoom out but basically what Pixay Pro is it's um, like an editing. Have you ever used? If you've ever used editing software on your computer or uh, anywhere else, it's basically that, but on your phone. So you can actually add like different stuff to it. It's really cool, and you can change the effects. So I can actually um, change the hues, the cosmetic points, all of this different stuff that you can just change um, of whatever, and it gives you a little preview of it with the picture. Um, so it's actually a nice preview so you actually know how it's going to turn out and you can insert another picture on top of it you can actually paint over it so you can click OK uh, change the paint color um, you know and just write whatever you want over it and you know I can just go back and stuff so the paint re works really nice too you can uh, pop colors you can twist twirl so you know make it look really weird the Evo and you can actually center where you want it to actually go so and I can just click that up in the corner it'll edit it and save it and I can adjust the tint I can crop it resize it it's just um, editing pictures if you have any nice pictures or if you want to uh, add something like make a logo for something you can actually get the picture insert some more pictures um, kind of adjust the size of those pictures and put them together and uh, you know so really nice you can add some stickers if you wanted to uh, Independence Day yeah you have to download this from the internet eyes make the eyes thing pop out so yep that's basically it and there's so much stuff that you can do with it like um, this is just a little bit of the stuff that you can do you can change it film you can spotlight it so you know just spotlight this part very cool uh, it's a nice app I think it's one of the better editing um, picture editing softwares on the market so definitely worth checking out again it's uh, gonna be a download link in my website alright so now we can go on to the next app and this one is Dolphin Browser HD so just uh, turn on the internet for this one And uh, what Dolphin Browser is, is an internet browser, of course, but it's one of the best internet browsers I've used so far. And just because it has, like, speed on it, it's really um, speedy and it has gestures, which I don't really use too much, but, you know, that's, like, one of the big things in All Dolphin right, So here's Dolphin Browser. Dolphin Browser. It's one of the best browsers, in my opinion. I use it probably on every single custom ROM I use. This is one of the apps that I... Definitely going to get just because I love Dolphin Browser. I love the speed of it. I love how it has like these um, bookmarks right here. It's just so easy to come to. Um, and you can also download so many add ons on the market. It's just really, it's really nice. You can go full screen here also. So you don't even have to have that bar up top and go on full screen. You can uh, check your windows. You can also get the bookmarks, your most favorite bookmarks right here. 
I don't really use all the features of Dolphin Browser, but I should because there's so many of them. Um, but you can actually add um, Webzine, which is like different feeds basically. Like you can see a Facebook, a Twitter, uh, Fandroid, and XDA. So if I click on Fandroid, it will update and it will tell me like all the stuff that they've just posted so that's basically what it is it's like a feed kind so of so those are the web zines you also have speed dials up here which you can like easily jump to uh, every anything you said here it's going to be in the speed dial so every time you click the home i set it so that it goes back to this menu so even if i open up a new tab it'll always go here even if i go to like google.com Right, you can see the speed on it. If I click home, it'll always go back to here and I can go to speed dials also. So that's another great feature of Dolphin Browser. And um, one of the widely known things about Dolphin Browser is its gestures. So right here, you can actually draw a gesture and it'll take you to designated um, things that you've set for it. You can actually um, see all the gestures that are preset and uh, you can see you can also add your own gesture so you click up here new gesture and you can say um, if you want it to be a new gesture for Google you can either make it a G which you know would make sense or your favorite sites like Facebook you can make it an F you can make it whatever you want and if I want um, Google then I can make it like an actual G and click done and gesture was created and saved so that's it and now if I go back in here and draw a G it's going to take me straight to google.com, which is just great. And you can also have your bookmarks here. And this is um, a thing that I downloaded that kills all the apps. It's on the market. It's an add-on. There's so many add-ons for Dolphin Browser, some really nice add-ons. And um, just like, like really, it's just a speedy, speedy um, browser. And you know it's depending on how great of a signal you have, of course. But I think it runs faster than any other, you know, kind of browser. This is like a really uh, flash-heavy site, and it's actually working nice. And this is their Dolphin browser site. So yeah, you can pinch to zoom. And the great thing about this also is if you're viewing um, different kind of stuff. like different kind of web pages with a lot of info on it you can actually like zoom in like so yeah you can zoom in this is my website uh, if you zoom in it like uh, re readjust the text so wherever you're zooming in it um, shows you it and it, as you can see you can see like these little uh, kind of flash player things it's because my flash player is on demand so if I click on it it'll reload the website like all the flash on the website will start working then so then all the flash will like reload because I keep it on demand so you know if I don't really need to use the flash then what's the point right so that's Dolphin Browser HD nice browser really worth checking out and now we go to our last and final app of this week and this is a great one battery indicator pro so basically all this app does is put a battery percent in your notification bar that's it but it's so nice because it just helps so much because you know how you never have your battery percent some people don't have it up here this puts it right um, on the left side and it probably will be bigger for you on the ice cream sandwich for the Evo it kind of gets smaller but uh, your notification box can be really big so you'll be able to see it and you can just see um, battery indicator pro you can see this stuff is like not even true it's just like made up information so don't actually believe that but you can go into settings and uh, set alarm so if once it's a hundred percent it'll alert you you can set time settings so uh, this is the actual time settings where on heavy usage how long do you think you will get so that's what it'll actually show there and colors and themes this is what I usually do uh, red so the actual icon will turn red after it's under 20% and it'll turn green over 95 
and I can make it turn amber at whatever color I want. So now it's just in between 20 and 95, so it's just that other color. And you have other settings right here. I made it go to Fahrenheit. There's also um, a thing that stays in your notification bar just like that. It tells you uh, how much health, your battery um, temperature, temperature of your battery, and the volt voltage. Um, so I said convert to Fahrenheit, and now I got the battery in my perc uh, percent up here, and it also tells me in here the uh, degrees in Fahrenheit of how hot the battery is. And it's pretty accurate, actually, because, you know, when you're gaming a lot and your battery starts turning really hot, this number is also going up, so it's in the hundreds and stuff. But I don't know how accurate it is. I don't really know if any... Um, I think it's kind of making it up, too, but... I can't tell you if that's true. But that's Battery Indicator Pro. It's just a great app. It's really easy to use. You just launch it straight there. Battery percent comes up. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to get um, this where it tells you the battery percent here. Um, because this won't be on any apps. But, you know, if you have your notification bar, you can easily see that. And that was just the best uh, five apps that I found this week. I'm sorry this video came, uh, got kind of long. But again, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, guys, because I'm going to have a lot more of these kind of videos and uh, another game video soon. So make sure to subscribe to me so you can see all those videos and make sure to go and download these apps. Um, so make sure to subscribe because, you know, I found them, given them for free. So just uh, please subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and like and favorite the video, guys. And please tell everybody about um, this new segment that I'm starting so, you know, I can keep doing this stuff for you guys. Alright guys, so I will see you in the next video. Peace.